Hey friends, so I got so excited I had to share this with you because folks that have lost things through a fire or lost things through mold coming in their home and then them having to move, uh, many of the times those folks have had to throw a lot of their things away or even all of their things because of the smoke effect on their items or the mold effect on their items. Well, something I wanna throw at you is you might be able to save some of the things. And one of the things that you could save are your VHS images, not the actual VHS tape, uh, because many of us who could be severely reactive can react to the mold that's carried on those tapes brought into the next home that we go to. But what I learned and why I'm excited is I learned that there are uh, machines that actually convert your old VHS tapes or your old eight millimeter tape to a DVD disc or to a, a flash drive. And even more exciting is my mom just shared with me that she took a handful of VHS tapes of hers from when, we're talking 20 years ago and more. Those tapes she was able to take to her local library and they have a maker space uh, section in their library where they have like a 3D printer, they have different machines that you can use, Cricut machine and all that. And one of the things that they have is a VHS converter. And so you can take up to five VHS or eight millimeter tapes into that library, that specific one anyway, you can take that into the library. They will take those videos, they will put them into the converter machine and then transfer all of the data, the images, the videos, all your old videos, you know, your memories can be transferred to a flash drive or to a DVD. So I just wanted to share that with you because your local library may have that ability also. So I actually called my local library to find out if every library does this or not. Mine doesn't. And I thought I thought to ask, well, where locally do they do it? And she's like, I've never heard of that. So I just called the library closest to where my mom lives. It's over an hour. But I at least had to call and get more information. And that's what I found. So I think why I'm most excited about this is though I wasn't able to use this service. Every, we have the large and we have the small, you know, video recording tapes. We threw all those away because we thought they were, we thought they were a loss. We thought because mold affected them, um, we couldn't do any converting. We weren't going to do it ourselves because we weren't going to bring it into our next home and um, cross-contaminate it. And we had it sitting in bins in a, storage shed in the back of our house for the longest time until we moved again. Had I known about a converter option, that would have saved me some of the heartache at the time of losing those memories. And that's why I wanted to come on because there are people in many Facebook groups and non Facebook groups, but who are facing mold in their homes. They are facing, do we remediate or do we move? You know, they're they're in that stressful position right now of what do we do with our belongings because they know that it could potentially make them sick depending on the severity of their own illness some people can be in a moldy home not get any effect but like me i have mold illness so i can't bring things along with me and this mold illness my own experience is quite severe so we've had to say goodbye to all of our things um, but other people, they're able to salvage them. So a little tip was for you to give your local library a call and see if they do the converting. Now, one of the things I did ask her, I went as far as to ask, well, do you take things that have been smoke damaged? Do you take things that have been mold damaged? And they said, and I said, or sitting in somebody's shed, you know, forever ago, and they're just now getting these out. And they said, well, at least wipe it down so it's not dusty. There's no dirt on the, um, you know, your original VHS tapes. If there's mold, make sure there's no mold visible. It's not on the tape. And same with the fire damage, you know, you wiped all that off. So there's no visible sign of anything. 
um, and that you can take up to five and they'll do that converting at least that particular library so just wanted to encourage you to consider that and something else that we did as an extra bonus I'll just share with you is when we were not going to keep our pictures a friend took a bin of our pictures and slowly scanned them and sent them via email to me. I was so um, brain fogged, just not all there uh, with my illness that I wasn't even cognizant that it was even re really being done or where I was even filing them. And then later um, with additional pictures, I just put a little ad in this. It was a community service program that I found in the newspaper and it said that they just do good deeds for people so I wrote into it and applied for it and the good deed that I asked for was people to scan pictures and they actually had somebody volunteer and I made sure in the description that it was they were all mold um, mold contaminated and that the person that was would consider doing the job make sure that they weren't mold affected or they could do it outside with the scanner or whatever. And somebody stepped up and she scanned our pictures. <laughs> she, she scanned a bin of pictures. Um, wow. And I was very grateful. And she put it on a hard drive. We had an external hard drive we gave her. And so she scanned them, uploaded them, and put it on that. And it was a volunteer from the heart gift given to us. So it's some hope I want to give to you, especially the mold community. And especially those of you in that moment right now of, do I really have to get rid of all my things? Am I going to lose it all? And this is one way where you can duplicate some things. Yes, you will lose your original, um, but you can get it back in a new form. You take in your own flash drive and you take in your own DVDs. Make sure you're not buying a CD disc that is for data only. Make sure you get the kind that is a certain, it says it on the packaging when you buy it, uh, that it is a DVD. It's a recordable DVD for videos, not print kind of stuff, okay? So there's my good news <laughs> that it just takes a little bit of that sorrow away knowing that you can keep some things. You probably have to do the work to call libraries if you're going to ask a library to do it or to find, you know, a volunteer group in your area that could do that scanning or that converting or uh, looking for your own converting machine and having somebody else do it as well. But those are some options that we did not know, especially the converter for VHS tapes. We didn't know that that was an option out there. Um, financially an option. At the time, there was no way we were going to pay to ship it to a company and have them do it. Spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars with the videos we had. We needed to use our money elsewhere uh, for replacing just mattresses and things like that. So I hope that this is a, a good lead for you and a great tip that could help you salvage some memories. Remember, we can be well, even while ill. Take care.